How's it going, you two? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley it's Jay Nice. To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed Just a memo. Just keep interrupting me. No matter how hard how Stanley dare you, looked, bro. he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. How's it going, peeps? How you guys doing today? It's Jay Nice. We're back on the Stanley Parable. Loving this game. Really, really into it. Saw some really cool endings. Let's see if we can uh, discover some more. I think there's a few more endings. When so we're just gonna to a set of two open doors, he have the fun. Door his left. Let's have fun and do what we want to do. Do we want to go left? Do we want to go right? Hmm. I haven't gone right in a while. This was not the correct way to the meeting. Let's go right. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he mm. wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Can't remember last last time I went right this direction. He was super mad, super duper mad at me. So we're gonna see what happens this time. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to oh, spend yeah. a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. So immaculate. Stanley simply stood here. Drink, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Hmm. Should we listen? Nah. Nah. Let's do. Let's Stanley go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions. <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oopsies. Oh, I know what I want to do. <laughs> Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Nah, guys, we won't do that. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong. Oh no! To prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what yes. to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Epic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now that we jumped off the edge, How and everyone wonderful. knows, Stanley was alone. Finally, Whoa. this is great. He huh? thought to himself, "This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted." What is he talking no about? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. He said, "I got what I finally want." Was he talking about me jumping off the thing? This game is very good at confusing me. What is that door? Oh, the, I wonder if that's a door I could, when I say, when I go my route, and he says, oh, you can turn left, and that's probably the way I can go to get back on track. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm creeped out. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did I? I think I entered the door on the this right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I did. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I don't really want to admire it. I was kind of looking for some food. I'm really hungry right now, and I could use like some nuggets. Wow. A sandwich. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room! But eager to get back to business. Don't give a dang about that room. Stanley took the first open door on his left. This is the door I was talking about. Actually, no, it's not. I don't think I've ever gone in there. I'm not going in there. Let's try. We're gonna go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Oops. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. This time we're not jumping off. That's why we're going back this way. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Whoa. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust like in someone said else that. can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Uh -huh. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Who? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? This is it, Stanley. Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, that's gotta be like a girlfriend or something. You're trying to play me, bro. 
Oh god. Guys, do we go in the dark scary room? Do we have no other options? I don't want to go in the dark scary room. Alright, time to man up. Let's go. That's her, Stanley. Oh. You need to be the one to do this. We never to picked up the phone. If you can truly place your faith in another, guys, then pick up the phone. We've never picked up the phone. Let's pick up the phone. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. What? <laughs> gotcha. oh. oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? What? Life? They want to commit their life to you. What a I'm jerk. I'm point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Guys. He hit us with a mannequin. He... I'm not going inside Sorry, you. Huh? But you're in my store. <gasps> Guys. Oh my god, I'm scared. Guys, he put the wall up on us. Oh god, I'm freaking out. I'm by myself. Guys. He closed the door on us. This is a very sad story about the death of a man <gasps> named Stanley. No. Press four on my keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. What? No, guys, we're like locked in. I don't want to listen to you. I'm not pressing a B. What if I don't press B? Mannequin lady, let me out, creepy. Dang it. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Doing exactly what he's told to do. Because I have now to. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now hmm. he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Dang it. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. Mm -hmm. From behind his desk... Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions in this the is insane. unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to what? fantasize about his own job. <laughs> First, he how, imagined that he one day disappeared. One he stepped up from his desk to realize that all <laughs> of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had what? suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought I'm so confused, guys. Terribly. We're trapped. He got us in his track. We picked up the phone. So I should have never picked further. up the phone. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Guys, we're forced to do As all he these things. This fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Meow. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Oh, and man. down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called Guys. it the Stanley Parable. Tell your kids a story? What kids? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. No, and again, help. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never save end, me. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. No. Press E to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. What How the heck? Possibly be? In reality, <laughs> all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Creep me out, bro. Press J to go to sleep. 
Here we go. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That you as suck, long as he bro. remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Please press Y to be at work in the morning. You see? Can he just not hear me? <laughs> How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Please press U to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. Hmm. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey this. This is crazy. I love this game, Jazzy. I must. Thank you. Perhaps my sister is the best. She picks up awesome games. Maybe this time. It's my homie right there. I love my sister. Please die, Chasm. They told me to die. I don't want to die. Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Oh. I'll be waiting for you.